Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rob Matt here. Thanks for joining me for another episode. So, um, uh, we're just going to do an unboxing real quick. So, a new package came in. I think it's another container that I got from Amazon. That's what it should be. Let's see. Blue. It's tiny. This is four by four. That's kind of cool. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's my four by four cooker. So this got all kinds of good recommendations online and it was really cheap. I wish I could tell you how cheap. I think $8.99 cheap, which is like ridiculously too cheap. Um, but for getting so many good reviews, it was um, kind of shocking, and I have no idea how to use it. As you can tell, that has to go there, and then that goes there. I got it. All right, so bam. The uh, no, that's not those. So the uh, what she was grabbing was the wick. Sterno, Wick, the fuel containers. There's 18 cans of them. We got them from Sam's for dirt cheap. That's for something else. Uh, thank you, camera lady. No apologize. So um, this is for your butane or propane mix. Throw it on here. And then it opens and closes to side, depending on what kind of pot you need. Uh, looks like the... What do we open up to? Seven inches in width. Open it up. That's pretty good. And closed version is like four and a half inches. Pretty cool. I don't know. It was eight ninety nine, and I wanted to try it out, especially after I saw a couple of recommendations for it. But as you can see, it's not a perfect piece of material, but it will do the job. I look forward to taking out in a few weeks actually we needed this just over the past weekend um we'll talk about the weekend so i went to this event this uh never been before first time this sca event and you know there's some pretty cool people there that's for basically guys in armor uh dress up and they beat the crap out of each other and there's a lot of politics and um there's creative uh, anachronisms there's uh, people who do garb and wardrobes there's people who oh man there was a longbow vendor there that sold like uh, traditional recurves that had leather wraps with embossings and everything it was very good work very beautiful um, I think his bows were like 250 to 500 depending on how detailed and how much you wanted done to it and what kind of wood it was made out of but it was pretty cool. Uh, Dave Cattenberry talked about the Panther canvas, uh, traditional tents, pioneer tents and stuff like that. There were roughly 200 or so of those there. So I got to play around with them and look at them, touch them. They were pretty spectacular, but they're really expensive. I think they're like, they start out at 600 bucks. Um, but if something broke, you could fix it. Everything is made out of rope, wood toggles, wood poles, and everything's held by friction and gravity. So that was pretty cool. Made me think twice about getting one of those Panther canvas tents. But again, the price point. Um, and then we went to Sam's, and they had this 100 Deadly Skills Survival Edition for 12.88, and I just picked it up randomly, and uh, I don't own the book already. But if even if um, I thought it was a good book to get, and now I'm gonna go through the book, read it, and then give like a more in depth kind of thing on it. But it's got you know defending your domain, filtering water, talks about how to take a two liter and use plastic, rock, sand, and filter water from it. That's stuff they could have done on a loan if they wanted to, versus filtering it through uh, with that one guy filtered through moss. It's crazy. How to Catch a Snake, all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I'm going to give it a read, and I'm either going to learn something or get a good laugh. And, um, 
know, this may be something more geared towards uh, your teenagers because there's more pictures in it and everything is short and sweet. So maybe I'll put it in my son's, uh, after I read it, if it just turns out to be good information, but not necessarily something that would go in a bag, maybe it'll just go in my son's bathroom so he can read it while he does his, um, his business. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.